What do you do, Whisper? So this is a new is project. I started like four months ago, and now I can say it's kind of finalized right now, and I want to share with you guys. So let's talk about it. What is witty video whisper? So this is a project. I want to say you come new things on YouTube video you got randomly, and uh, runs with a uh, uh, auto subtitle generator or auto transcript generator uh, called whisper. So it's called YT Video Whisper. I know I always suck as name something. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. So this part is on GitHub and I will put on link in the description if you want to check it out. So uh, today's video we will follow two simple things. Uh, today we are going to check like local environment version and the, the Google Colab version. So, so we are going to watch this Google Colab version. If you want to see a local version, there's a timestamp double. So you can just use a timestamp to uh check your specific time yes so now let's just run to the google collab project which you can see right here running google collab so this is the first thing i want to talk about because uh python is kind of messed up <laughs> so there's two versions of this one is like cam and bot DCR special version, which is Chinese traditional version for sure. <laughs> so we are going, not going to touch this version because installer is all Chinese. Uh, you definitely can't read Chinese. I don't know if a viewer can read Chinese or not. <laughs> so we are going to open a global version in here, and we're just going to open a Google Colab version. So when we're check, checking on the screen, you can see uh, tons of things. We have download option, and we have settings. So you have to check like a download option and your settings. This two is a more major stuff you are going to follow. So let's go for the first one. This is a download option. So uh, when Kevin Bot says that uh, when he's like checking this and he just said like, whoa, uh, but you need to be connected to Google Drive. What if? You can't, don't need to connect to Google Drive, so I just make this option to disable Google Drive. But I think most of the people don't want to disable Google Drive because if Google Drive, if uh, Google Drive just got broken or any file just got like crashed, uh, yeah, and <laughs> so you will not get your file intact. But we also have like a direct down, direct download should be run when the shutdown after complete is disabled so not recommended to <laughs> so what we're going to uh we're going to show you guys today is a disable good drive set to no if you want to see yes then you have to click here to get your score yourself so let me just go to and show you guys what it did in this project so let me just go ahead and Give a test video today. Uh, video test today is from El Supersonic Q. I will put a link on the top right. <laughs> so you can go ahead and check that out. Uh, this is Hype Found Media from 2023, and we just copy this YouTube link, or you can just go over here and here. Yes. And we'll just copy this thing here. And we file name, you can just copy the title, and we just copy the title. and. Here is the one fun thing. You guys, you can specify your language, or you can go for blank. Uh, in this case, I think we will choose blank. We are going to let in auto detect, and you can see there's still all many options. There's a generate plan document, shut down after complete because sometimes if you didn't shut down after complete, uh, uh Google Colab will ban you from using the graphics card for twelve hours, I guess. So yeah, so I said this to yes, just to in case something just happened. A model user, which that you that's sort the of model you want to use. The lowest is like the baddest model, uh, and also runs the faster. If this a higher, it will run slower but more accurate. So, but which was a median for most of the time. Yeah, and enable cookies is like, uh, do you want to have a do you want to like logging into your like logging into YouTube or something? Sometimes uh grabbing private video from this is just so much better. So 
Whenever you say, after you said the un thing, we just to run time and click run O. And I'll click run anyway to run in my GitHub project. So, yes, and we need to wait into connect. After connecting to the container, it should pop up. It should pop out an uh, option that just say, please connect to the Google Drive, which is right now, permits notebook to access your Google Drive files, so you have to click on connect to Google Drive. Uh, by the way, if you don't want to connect to Google Drive, you can always use another option, which another option is you can disable the Google Drive by uploading file to ANON, or you can just direct download. Yeah, that's also a way. So after we mount on Google Drive, now he will do is install our components right here. Uh, as you can see, we have a, a abandoned, I can't say the name, and FM pack and open AI whisper. That's why this screen is kind of blur as sometimes until I zoom in because this package is abandoned <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> but you can always check yourself on this GitHub project. So now we are just letting way to install component. It should be very fast to install components. So let's just find a way. Okay, install complete and now it's in NVIDIA SMI. So this is another important thing. The GPU check out here, if this shows nothing, means you didn't enable the graphics card. So you have to check your graphics card is enable or not. Just go to uh, runtime and change runtime type and make sure you are running on GPU T4. And now just set up every variables and we didn't set up cookie. If you set up any cookie, um, what I would like to say, it will give you an upload option. You can just upload your cookies on here. But I say it's not recommended. <laughs> this is a shared environment. I don't want your account get leaked. So if your account does get leaked, don't find me. I already have this disclaimer here when you are uploading the files. So now after after it's finished analyzing the video itself, now it's time to load the whisper model. Just give me some second. Uh, also, the logic of the model, it will download more server since this is more bigger file. But from this kind of thing, as we can see, it's running at 1.42 gig. And I think a tiny model just not as much as the model over here we can see, I guess. So, after it runs for a second, let's, it will stay like, uh, with my model loaded, which the model is loaded right now. And now what we are having is it will have the language from first 30 seconds. So if the language is inaccurate, you should specify language at top of this settings right here. So yeah, so you can see detected language in English, so we are ready to go. So now we have to wait until generate, uh, which is median, which is, uh, it should come complete at median time. So I'm going to speed up the video here and wait this to complete. Okay, so after you finish, it should be... Okay, so this disable. And I think crashed. <laughs> and crash after this thing happened. So this is what I'm talking about earlier, is if it gets crashed. <laughs> if it gets crashed, wow. Then the Google Drive can save your file. So let's just go to drive.google.com to check out the file and layer. And we should see our file should be here. Yes, I see it. It's high media file and transcript one two three. This thing is the transcript. 
Let's check out the transcript right here. You can see this for the transcript for the video and SRT file. We are going to download this file. And then after we found this file, we open with your wing guess and you can see you can zoom in. <laughs> it's just opening kitty. Uh, ring found you can see we have all of the srt timestamp now you can upload this to your youtube to have a timestamp so after taking about the environment that we're running which is a google Cloud app now why we don't want to talk about the low code one since you have more performance graphics card you have say 100 i guess so Let's have fun on the local environment. First thing first, we have to check your card is ready to go. So we use NVIDIA SMI. You can see we have this graphics card. I'm using RTX 3050 right here. So now let's jump to the one to be a whisper project. And this is that brand. So I should show you guys. So uh, jump to dot hidden. So what you have to do is so get clone at TPS, get up the count slash blue swell slash white video whisper to clone this entire project. And what we have to do is in white video whisper. Now I have to say one thing because uh, this O tool is runs on CLI instead of GUI. Uh because I don't know how to develop the GUI tool for this. So yeah, that's why you are seeing right now is we are on CLI terminal. If you anyone want to use a GUI version, you can fork my project and then maybe make a PR. Yeah. So just check right here. We have our files right here. So what we're going to do is install Python on this computer. Uh, on my system, which is Ubuntu, you can just sudo app install Python 3. But we don't want that. But because I already installed Python 3, so it should be fine. And you have also installed Python pip, although if you are on Windows, you should have pip already to go. So after you have all these tools, you have to type pip-r requirement.txt. Uh, install pip install r requirement.txt. And after you get all the requirement, which I already have right here, now you have to do is to type turn three and start py. Now after it loaded, now it was just ask for your YouTube video link, which I'm going to grab at here and enter a file name in here. We will just go ahead and copy the title and just pass into a type a chapter here. And now you set time to choose a model. Uh, I use a very simple and easy way. Just use arrow key to select your model. Yeah, that's freaking easy. So you can use your like arrow key to choose a model. Uh, I'm going to put small here because I'm using OBS Record. I don't want my uh, graphics card to be exploded. So you can just choose two options. You can translate. Yeah, translate or transcribe. So what I'm going to do to choose here is I'm going to use transcribe. And if you want to translate a video to English, if you it's on Spanish, you can use translate option. Me, I'm just going for transcribe. I just want specified language. If you type no, it should be auto. And if you type yes, it should tell you to specify a language. Let me show you case. If I type yes, and you have to type your, then you're right here, then here, I have an English video. And you want to generate a transcript file. Just copy yes, and now it's time for enable cookie slogan file. So, this is one very tricky stuff. I just click yes, and you have to copy your cookies on here. But it looks like I didn't have any cookies, so I'm going to go, God, uh, I'm going to get the cookie files, throw it into the terminal here, like this. And enter, and you have the keys. So let's just click our options, correct? And we click yes. 
although you didn't really need to use like uh cookies at here because this is a public video and i will put on the link right up there if you want to watch this video but if you really have some uh private video uh you can also use this way yeah so this is the local environment of it and uh, that just kind of wave to the every single thing runs fine and we should be able to waste some time to let's speed on the video again <laughs> Okay, so after your file got generated, it should be on generated folder. But if you want to share to your friends, you can just always upload to any one file, which I'm going to here. And it will throw into a zip file. So we have to wait a moment and it gives you the link. Uh, it will do the same thing on the Google Colab version. And we just have to copy this link. And let's just go ahead, go to another desktop we have here. Open our web browser. He doesn't open. Uh, never mind. Okay, we open our web browser and we paste this and quick enter. And we are able to download this file. Also, the file we've generated will also be on generated folder. As you right here, you can see we have our transcript folder, which is transcript you can check this is our transcript we also have the transforming srt this is also our srt file that you can upload to your video also let's back to this i will do download the zip file it should be the contents of the sending let's just save this and we just back here and we just download and unzip, unzip, friends, in this zip file, and we just do friend. Okay, I guess it did unzip well. Uh, we did unzip. Yeah, we did unzip into the folder. Uh, so it's just generally uh, here, which is transforming the Windows Seven into Linux transcript and transforming Windows Seven into Linux.srt. So let's today's video of everything talking about this project I coded which is quite video whisper if you think this project is very fun please you can donate me um buy me a coffee link in description if you want to buy me coffee just go ahead go there and if you want to do something anything else to me uh or checking what content I'm going to make then you can go ahead check the other thing also, I'm also working on another project right now, which probably will not streaming on Twitch, but I think you guys will be uh, very happy to see this. Yes, I am coding this stuff. Anyways, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.